Hi KG2, how are you? Um, today from maths we are going to do lesson number 108, 108 and we are going to start it by writing our names in the corner which is our thumb rule, right? I am going to write mine, Mariam. You write yours, okay? Alright, it says question number one. Write the numbers after. Now, the lum number line that we have here is from the 90s family. Let's review what's in the 90s family. Let's see. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Alright, now let's look here. Now, what it says, what number comes after? 97. Let's see where 97 is on the number line. Stop. This is 97. Now, let's hop forward and see what comes after. 98. 97, 98. Now, it says 95. Let's see where 95 is. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. So let's hop and see what comes after 95. 96. 95, 96. Now 90. What comes after 90? Our first number from the 90s family is 90. Now let's hop and see. 91. I'm going to write here. 91. Okay, I'm not going to do these six. I want you to, guys to do it, okay, and practice. Question number two. Write the number between. Now, what is between? The numbers that are a thing that is in the middle is called between. Between two things, all right? Or in the middle of two things that is called between. Now, again, uh, this is the 90s family here again, okay? 90. Now, what comes after 90? 90. 90. 1, 90, 91, 92. Now 96. What comes after 96? 96, 97. 96, 97, 98. Alright, now let's see what comes in between 95 and 97. Let's look from here. 95, you hop forward. And from 97, you hop backwards. What's the number? 96. So we're going to write here 96. 95, 96, 97. Now I want you guys to do this. these three on your own, okay? Question number three. When you take away, the answer is the same or less. Now why? when is it same? Same is when nobody is going to ask you for anything. When you're not going to give away anything, then the answer is going to be same. And when, it, when is it going to be less? It's going to be less when you give away something. When we are taking away things, then it's going to become less than what you already have. Okay, let's look here. One, two, three, four. We have four of these over here. So we've written four here. Minus. This is a sign of minus. Minus means to take away. Okay, two. So we have to cross out two. One, two. How many am I left with? One, two. So I'm going to write here two, okay? Now, let's count how many triangles are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they've written eight here. Now minus. Minus again, what minus means? To give away. Now how many do we have to give away? Three. Let's cut off and give three away. One, two, three. Let's count one, the remaining ones. One, two, three, four, five. So I am left with five triangles. Now here I have two circles with me. So I have written two here. Minus means to give away again, okay? So I'm going to minus one. How, how many circles am I left with? Only one circle. So I'm going to write here one, okay? I'm going to leave these three out for you guys to do it on your own and practice, okay? Let's put your fingers on question number four. Add. Now add. Add addition. In this, we have this sign. Can you see this sign? This is the plus sign. In plus sign, we add things to what we already have, okay? 
Okay, now here I have, let's count how many snooker balls do I have here. I have one, two, three, and four. All right, let's, this is an example, all right? So I have four balls here. Now I want to have three more balls to it. Here, I have three more balls. One, two, three. Now they're all joined together. I want to have these three with these four together. They're all together now. Whoops, don't go anywhere, mister. Okay, now let's count them together, all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many do I have here? I have seven balls here all together. So this is addition, okay? Now let's say I have three balls here and I wanna have the pink ball here in this in two. So I'm going to add one more ball to it. How many do I have now? One, two, three, four. I have four balls all together now. Okay, so this is addition. Let's see what we have here in our books. Here we have 81. Let's see where 81 is on the number line. Here, this is 81. Okay, now we have to add how many to it? We have to add four to it. Let's hop four times. One two, three, four. What's my number here? 85. Okay. 80. Go. All right. So the answer is 85. Now on the next one, 86. This is my 86 on the number line. And how many do I have to add more to it? Three. So let's hop three times. One, two, three. Three. The number is 89. I'm going to write in 89. I'm going to leave these two for you guys to do it on your own, okay? Uh, all right, this is 80, okay? Just in case you weren't able to see. That's 80. Question number five. Now, it says write the numbers. We're going to place the values here on the blank ones. This is 31. Okay, let's see how this is going to be done. Okay, the numbers, let's say we have 31 here. Now, the number that is going to be on your right-hand side, they, they are the ones. They have the value of ones, so they're going to be written over here in the under the ones. Now, number three. Let's see where number three goes. Number three is on the left hand side so this is going to come under tens tens is uh, the value of tens here is of three let's see how many tens do i have here three tens here let's see 10 20 30 see that's why we have written 3 over 30 that's why we have written the 3 over here why because there are three tens over here how many tens here three tens and now ones. How many ones do I have here? How many ones do I have here? Okay. I have only one here. There's nothing with it. it. One doesn't have any partner here, right? So it is only one. It's going to be written under the ones value. All right. Let's write it down here now. 31. So where does the three come goes? Under the tens place. All right, I have written three here because it's on the right-hand side, see? This is on the right side and this is on the left side is the ones. So I'm going to write my one here. Okay, now let's look at this number, 39. Here on my right-hand side under the ones is nine. So I'm going to write nine in the ones blank okay and here what's the value of tens here let's look at the left hand side now it says three so i'm gonna write here three okay i'm gonna leave this one out for you guys to do it on your own okay question number six let's uh, read it match the person by the place in line okay now here we're gonna use the ordinal number first goes to Number first, let's look for second, fifth, eighth, second, no? Yep, here goes the second one. 
Now the person standing on the third one. Let's see where third is. Fifth, eighth, fourth, seventh, third. Here's the third one. So we're going to match it to the third person. Fourth. Okay, this is fifth, eighth, fourth, seventh, and sixth. This was fourth. So we're going to come back to fourth. Okay. Fifth. Fifth. This is the first one over here. So we're going to match it with the fifth one. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Let's see. Let's look for number sixth over here. Eighth, seventh, and sixth. So this is what we are looking for. This is sixth. Now, seventh. Let's look for seventh. We have eighth left and we have seventh left. So we are looking for number seventh. Seventh goes to seventh. Last one, eighth. Eighth goes here. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. All right, we're done with it. Let's uh, do it with your mommies. And uh, I hope you guys have fun doing this lesson today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.